How many times has it happened to you where you had to revisit a project and you see this rat warning? It is every editor's nightmare. And I'm gonna solve that issue for you so you will never have to go through that ever again. And a very important bonus, you're going to be saving so much storage space. The first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna go to the top menu, edit, and then delete unused. You're not actually deleting the files off your computer, just from your Premiere Pro project. And chances are, because we didn't use those clips in our edit, we're not gonna need them in the future if we open this project again. Then while we're at it, we're gonna go back to the top menu, edit, and then consolidate duplicates. This will get rid of any files that we have imported more than once. Now that our project is organized, it is time to save it. And it's not as easy as hitting Control S or Command S. S, S, Command S. Instead, we're gonna go to File and then Project Manager. That will open up this window right here. Now here we can select which sequences we want to save the files from. Under Resulting Project, we're going to choose Collect Files and Copy to New Location. What this will do is literally collect the files that we've used in those selected sequences and then copy them to a new folder. So copy the original files to a new folder. If you want to copy the entire project, you can just select all of the sequences. In this case, I am just going to select the main sequence. There's also this other option, consolidate and transcode footage, and this will take up way less disk space than the first option. And we can simply see that by selecting the first option, calculating disk space, and then option two. Although this may sound like the go-to option, we're not going to pick consolidate and transcode because we wanna save the original files, original quality and original codex in case we ever need it to revisit it or re-edit it in the future. Basically what's gonna happen if you choose consolidate and transcode is you're going to end up with only those clips and those cuts that you see on the timeline. There is an option to add, let's say 25 or 50 frames on each end of each or each like start point and end point of the clip, but that is about it. Now this is great if you wanna delete the unused parts of the original files and you want to save storage, but I never use it and I really recommend to use collect files and copy to new location. All right, so we select this one and then let's pick our destination folder. I'm going to put it in my work folder and I'm going to call it Gizmo is a weirdo. Are you a little weirdo? Now on the right side, under options, we want to make sure that we have checked the box exclude unused clips. If you want to include all of the clips within this project and not just the clips that you used in these selected sequences, then of course uncheck it. But if you only want to save certain sequences within this project, then you want to check this so you don't end up with any unnecessary files. What if you want to save the main sequence in this project, but you also want to save a bin of files that you didn't necessarily use? In that case, what we're going to do is we're going to create something called a string out sequence. Now I do want to say that ideally you do this before you even open up the project manager, blah, the project manager, but I just quickly want to show you how to do it anyway. All right, we're going to close this window really quickly and then open that specific bin then select all of the clips, right click and click on new sequence from clip. Or what you can do is you can drag that selection to the new item button to create a new sequence. Then in your project bin, look for that sequence or little hack, you can right click on your sequence and then reveal sequence in project and simply rename it. What are we gonna call this one, Gizmo? All right, now we're gonna go back to the project manager and select this string out sequence as part of our save, as well as reselecting the other sequences and then also reselecting our destination folder. I guess you can kind of understand why you wanna do this before, but if I would explain this before, then it probably wouldn't have made as much sense. All right, moving on. Some of these options are grayed out and that is because they are only available if you want to consolidate and transcode the footage. As far as the options go, we wanna make sure that we have checked include audio conform files, include preview files and rename media files to match clip names. The reason why we're checking these options is because it's going to be a lot easier the next time that you or someone else opens this project. The audio conform files and the preview files, for example, have already been rendered and they're now included in the save, whereas otherwise you would have to open the project and then render and conform all of the files again. Lastly, we wanna make sure that we have checked the rename media files option because simply if we change the names of any of these files within our Premiere Pro project and we don't check this, next time you open the Premiere project, you're going to end up with media of line warnings. And that is exactly what we're trying to avoid with this video. Then we're going to hit okay to save our project. And if we go to my work folder, you will see the copied folder right here. Now let's quickly open up the project to see what it looks like before we officially archive or share it. As you can see, this works like a charm. The nested sequences are there, any dynamic linking that you might've done, 
everything is working. So now we can safely get rid of the original folder that we used to create this edit because we have now saved and copied the necessary files to a new location. There's actually still one really important step that we've missed in this process. Premiere Pro will create something called Media Cache when you are working on your edits and it generally stores this somewhere else in your system. And you don't need this anymore. So when you get rid of your original folder, you don't get rid of the Media Cache and that is what we need to get rid of now. You wanna go to Preferences, Media Cache and then delete. It. Then what's really important to do is to watch this video right here before you start any other Premiere project in your career. It's going to help you so much. And of course, please make sure that you subscribe to the, bleh, you subscribe to the channel if you liked this video. <sighs> I'm done.